Test tubes are widely used for qualitative experiments and assays. Their spherical bottom and vertical sides reduce mass loss when pouring. They are usually made of glass as convenient containers for heating small amounts of chemicals. During heating, the tube should be in tilted position and held by its neck with a clamp or tongs, the bottom can be heated to hundreds of degrees, while the neck remains relatively cool. Moreover, a test tube can be filled with water and have turned into a water-filled beaker to capture gases. A test tube with a stopper is also used for temporary storage of chemical or biological samples. Test tube racks are used to hold upright multiple test tubes at the same time for conducting several assays simultaneously. A beaker is a cylindrical container with a flat bottom and a small spout for easy pouring. An Erlenmeyer flask or conical flask has a flat bottom, a conical body, and a cylindrical neck. It was created by Emil Erlenmeyer in 1860. The slanted sides and narrow neck reduce the risk of spillage by mixing the contents by swirling. Erlenmeyer flask is suitable for boiling liquid, the solvent loss will be reduced as hot vapor will be condensed on the narrow upper section. Erlenmeyer flask is especially appropriate for recrystallization as hot vapors from the boiling solvent can keep the filter funnel warm to avoid the premature crystallization. Wash bottle is a squeeze bottle with a nozzle for rinsing laboratory glassware. Most wash bottles are made up of polyethylene, which is a solvent-resistant plastic. Color codes are used to identify the contents of wash bottles. Red is for acetone, white for ethanol or sodium hypochlorite or distilled water, green for methanol and yellow for isopropanol. Round bottom flasks are usually made of glass for resistance heating chemical inertness for heating, boiling, distillation, containing chemical reactions and storage of the culture media. There is at least one neck with an opening at the tip. However, two or three necked flasks are also common. The ends of the necks are usually conical ground glass joints. 24 to 20 is common for 250 milliliters or larger flasks, and 20 to 14 or 22 to 19 are common for smaller flasks. The round bottom is not only allowing more uniform heating but also more resistant under vacuum as a sphere shape can distribute the stress more evenly. Boiling chips or stirred bars are usually added to allow a nucleation site for gradual boiling. Nucleation avoids a sudden boiling surge for overflowing the content from the boiling flask. However, large stir bars can lead to poor stirring as insoluble materials may trap at the base. A clamp stand is used to support other pieces of equipment and glassware. It consists of a heavy base and a vertical rod. Clamps and iron rings attach to the rod by thumbscrews at whatever heights and orientations to support the target equipment. A funnel is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. It is used for guiding liquid or powder into a small opening. It is also commonly used for holding the filter paper in filtration. A graduated cylinder or a measuring cylinder is for measuring the volume of a liquid. It is narrow and tall to increase the accuracy and precision of measurement. Graduated cylinders have a base support and a spout for easy pouring of liquid. Mixing cylinders have ground glass joints for closing with a stopper or connecting with other elements. Large graduated cylinders are usually made of polypropylene for chemical resistance or polymethylpentene for transparency, making them lighter and less fragile. To read a measurement, position the surface of the liquid at eye level, the center of the meniscus is the measurement line. There are two classes of accuracy class A and B class A has double the accuracy of class B. An eyedropper, or pasteur pipette, or dropper, is for transferring small amount of liquid. It is commonly consists of a glass tube, a narrow point and a rubber bulb at the top. Glass Pasteur pipette are usually made of borosilicate glass or soda lime glass. Plastic Pasteur pipettes, or transfer pipettes, connects their stem and bulb together and made of soft plastic such as polyethylene. The stem's portion is thick enough to be rigid, while the bulb portion is thinner and squeezable. It is needed to pay attention that most organic solvents, such as hexane and acetone can dissolve the plastic in plastic Pasteur pipettes.